we have made it to London, uh, had a bit of a detour from Paddington Station into our Airbnb, but we're here now, it's about 20 to 11. We're gonna try hunting down some food um, in a little bit, but I thought I'd show you what this place looks like. So we're staying in uh, just north of Hyde Park in a cute little Airbnb. Airbnb. So what we have is like a kind of loft style here, which um, the place is quite cute actually. I'm always a fan of rainbow artwork. And then we've got a nice sitting area here. And then it actually opens off up onto like a terrace sort of area, but this section is kind of under construction, so I can't show you anything that, that great over there. But over here is through the kitchen. There's a TV there as well for the sitting area. And then through the kitchen, which is actually quite large and much larger than my own kitchen back in Toronto, you come through here and then there's the terrace, which is clearly a little bit under construction <laughs> and we've got I come with the apartment <laughs> yeah. Julie just lives here now she's moved in officially so we've got actually quite a nice view down that's up north and then if we swivel all the way down here Hyde Park is just at the end of this street okay coming back inside the bedroom is actually up the stairs so I haven't been up there yet so let's take a look and then there's the bed here which Julie and I are just crashing in together. And it looks like a closet at the other end. So yeah, that's the Airbnb. So I've just only now realized that I have not explained where we actually are and what we're doing. So Julie and I are going to um, England and Ireland for, is it nine days? Something like that. 10? Nine, 10 days, something like that. Forever. We're spending about a week in London and then we're gonna fly over to Shannon, take a bus up to Galway spend like two days in Galway and then take a train across to Dublin and spend another two days in Dublin and then head back to Toronto. So we've only just gotten to London now um, and uh, we've got nothing planned tomorrow which is kind of exciting so that'll be a fun day to explore. Uh, Julie's never been here before so that's especially exciting. Um, I've mentioned this before but I don't know how many people follow me on Instagram stories but I had an ex that used to, or well, he still lives in England, so I spent a chunk of time over here. But it's been a few years since I've been back, so I'm excited to see London again and explore with Julie, because she's gonna wanna see different things that I haven't seen before, which is what's really fun about traveling with people that is not just yourself, right? So they'll introduce you to things that you might not otherwise have uh, looked at. So anyway, we're gonna go on the hunt for some food. There's a 24-hour Tesco or around the corner-ish and we're just gonna stock up on supplies because nothing's really open this late to go actually eating food other than McDonald's. I don't really want McDonald's right now. And that's what this whole vlog is. So I'm gonna be vlogging the entire thing and gonna take you guys with us. So it's kind of late. We could only go to Tesco's because everything else is closed and there's a 24 hour Tesco's around the corner. But here's what we got. So Julie found a whole bunch of crisps, salt and malt vinegar, salted cheddar and onion, crumpets because when in England we got some pita here because there is some hummus and then some dairy-free butter-ish thing this is Julie's <laughs> granola for my race because I need something that's relatively healthy and there's a little bit of chocolate in here which is a bit of a boost in the morning and yogurt to go with it I just put those two together for a quick and easy breakfast and then we got squashies because Sam, Sam. <laughs> will not stop talking about these and we don't know what they taste like. So we're gonna try those. And then there's some, oh, this is so irritating. So I love Jaffa cakes, but they were completely out of the normal package. So I had to get these nibbles, which are apparently brand new. Never tried that thing, but I'm sure it'll taste the same. And then carrots for the hummus. And then three of these, but I'll pull one out. Double Decker chocolate bars. These are my freaking favorite and they don't have them in Canada. And now I've got three of them. Time to devour them all. <laughs> okay, Sam was banging on about these squashies. Squash. These are really freaking good. Okay, so this was basically a travel day. Not a whole lot happened today. So it's like 1.30 in the morning. Um, so we're going to bed so that we can be bright eyed and bushy tailed for tomorrow. So that is it for day one-ish in London. Okay, technically day two in London. We're, it's what, 10 o'clock, I guess? And we're just heading for breakfast. English it's a, breakfast. Yes, full English breakfast. Black pudding all the way. And I actually like black pudding. I, I don't mind it. I like it. Yeah, it's yeah. good. When you find out what's in it, though, that's what's no. eh, unfortunate <laughs> at times. 
Anyway, there's a little pub around the corner, so we're just heading there. Faded in this dark and smoky room With your face reflecting bright green, brights and blues You know I kind of want to disappear with you But I don't think that is what I would usually do Okay, so we just spent a little bit of time at the Tate Museum. Uh, I'd never been there before, saw a bunch of cool artwork, which probably would have showed in video. And now we're headed to pick up my race Hello. kit, which uh, is kind of out here. The race is in Hackney. It's the Hackney Half Marathon. Race is on a Sunday, so I still got two days before that happens. And my friend is still running it. I'm very happy about that. You know, when people sign up for a half marathon, you always figure that maybe somebody's just gonna like decide not to go. <laughs> but he's still running it on Sunday. So they, he doesn't get into town with his fiance until tomorrow. We're gonna meet up with them. But for now, just pick up the race kit. Green, brights and blues. You know I kind of want to disappear with you. But I don't think that is what I would usually do. Hello. <laughs> we went everywhere, picked up my race kit, we're leaving, where were we, Stratford? Mm -hmm. And uh, realized that the Too Faced store was in Stratford while we were on our way out, so that was great. I just cut the crap out of my hand. <gasps> on what? I don't know. Must have been the- On that? Yeah. All on film. Today on Make Up Your Mind, Blood, Guts, and Gore. We went into a boots. Oh monkey. yes. Monkey. We went to monkey and. Is that how it said monkey? Monkey. Monkey. M O N K I. This. Ah, <laughs> this is great. Monkey. Monkey. This is so awesome. You got a great. Uh, like a kimono. It's a kimono, kimono style dress with pockets. With pockets, always vital. There was a skirt I love, but it was uh, looking like a unfortunate disaster in the stomach area, so it was way too tight. I thought it looked great. Yeah, but. Not when my shirt lifted up, so okay. that's not happening. Um, so we're gonna try to find another one later on. And then we went into Boots. The one in Carnaby Street was pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. Couldn't find my um, Boots number no. seven foundation. So we went to another Boots where they told us it was discontinued. So I don't know, the, the foundation is still available on Boots' site, so. We're gonna see if they have it in Ireland. If not, I'm going to order it online, have it shipped to my friend, and he can send it to me in Canada because I was supremely displeased because that is my favorite foundation. It's the reason we came. Yeah, it's the reason we came, so we might as well go home. We're done. Right, see you later. Game over. Your umbrella is so cute. So I always say that it's sunny in London and everyone always says it's rainy. It's actually rainy, so we've got our umbrellas right now. There was a 10% right chance of rain. And there, was a rain. there was a 10% chance of rain. Our luck is just that. And we got all of the rain today. Um, so we're just headed to the pub for late dinner. What yes. is it, 8.30, something like that? I don't know. It's like 3 p.m. my body time. Yeah. 
So just a little bit of dinner and uh, should we get, oh, oh, careful. Faded in this dark and smoky room With your face reflecting bright green, brights and blues You know I kind of want to disappear with you But I don't think that is what I would usually do Maybe the door's not closed enough. But I, I can't close it anymore. Wait, how do we open it? We're in the sp <laughs> <laughs> smallest elevator, no demand. We're not going anywhere. I think it's haunted. <laughs> this is like, there's no other space in here. This is literally the elevator. Okay, bye. Oh god. We're going out. Do you want to go by yourself? Where? If I die here... Sure, slam it. It's not moving. It's not making noise. What's happening? Oh my god, I got in and started working. We don't know how this thing works, though. Am I going down? I'm between floors. Oh, shit. That's where I should be going. That's the floor. Oh, God. I have made a grave mistake. I'm between floors! Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> Times when you wish you weren't a dumbass and played around with shit. Okay. If I stand on the middle panel, it buzzes. If I don't stand on the middle. Got it! Okay. I figured it out. I don't know why I'm in a video game right now, but I figured it out. I'm coming. There's a weight switch on the middle of the tiles, and if I stand on that, it wasn't working. <sighs> Bye! <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. I'm never getting in this again. Good news, I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get into sketchy elevators. Apparently everybody could hear me talking in there and yeah. it was loud for everybody. So that's great news. Um, thought I knew what I was doing. Did not know, no clue. So uh, we're gonna have another drink and then go to bed because I'm at Toronto so I'm gonna end the vlog now because I've made enough of an ass of myself. Yes. <laughs> so good night from Julie and I. Alright, morning of IMATS. This is our, is it fourth IMATS? Like fourth independent, Ever? no, 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 I like, like I've been to different lot. cities. Yes. Toronto, New York, LA, London. Yes. So we're gonna explore what London has to offer and see what's up. We'll we're not, see how good it is? Yeah, we've been come, come, well, I've personally become kind of skeptical about IMATS because I've kind of seen it decline over the years just in terms of the vendors. Yeah, really, last there's, yeah. Uh, Toronto was what, like a craft show? <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of stuff. And I know it's we'll cut that out. No, actually, you know what? It's fine. I saw a lot of handmade stuff that was just, it didn't really look put Pro together professional. enough. Professional. It's no, a makeup artist trade show. It's not something that you'd want to purchase because it looks like somebody made yeah. it in their kitchen. This is the last time I'm going with a press pass. Yeah. <laughs> End of an era. <laughs> The end of Julie. Oh, that is kind of sad. The end of Julie for us. The end of Julie's blogging career is kind of what I meant to say. Yeah, it ended but, a long time ago. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs>
is in what's all behind us. So it's a smaller area. Yeah. There's way less people here. Lots of good light though. Yeah. Good light. Yeah, there's no lots of space. There's a lot of space to move around, which is nice from all the crazy lineups that you end up with, like Morphe and stuff like that. But it's pretty quiet. Yeah. And there's not a ton of brands. There's a few brands we didn't recognize, which is interesting to look at. But overall, it's much reduced scale for the show. And with exchange, oh yeah, there's no deals. No, not there are no deals. Not, not as a comedian. Not at all. No. Yeah, which is kind of disappointing. So I mean, I don't know what London was like before. Like, it's entirely possible that maybe, maybe it was good. Maybe it was bigger than this. Maybe. I don't know if it's always been here, but this is quite tiny, and I like how loose it is to be able to walk around. But it, there's nothing monumental yeah. about this one. But this, I would say, this room is like the annex room in LA. Is that what that room is called? Yeah. Okay. So there's like the big hall in LA and then there's the extra little tiny room yeah. in LA that yeah. had like... It had melt, it had house flashes. Yeah. lashes. And that's what this size yeah. of this is. Yeah. It's like the second room. Yeah. But it's the whole thing. Well, so I don't know if IMATS is winding down. Maybe it's just kind of running the course. I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That's our brief review on IMATS London. We were only here, what, 30 Not minutes? an hour. Yeah. yeah. I'm bored. Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it for IMATS London. Okay, so I want to introduce, I don't know if I'm going to say your name right, okay. Dominica? Dominica, yeah. Okay, so she's one of my first subscribers that I remember speaking to, really. Yeah, it was a long time now. Like, I remember you started in December with like... Um, I think it was December. Uh, That's crazy. Cause I, no, I, I, I joined a little bit later, but I think one of the, your first videos were like uh, Christmas-ish things, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I found you shortly after really shortly after maybe february and i just like i stayed <laughs> yeah okay so it, like one of the originals which is kind of crazy because mm. i i mean you know <laughs> it feels weird that people actually watch but um so what's crazy is that she just moved to england yep. and we just happened to be coming on vacation at like roughly ish the same around amount of time when did you move here Was it a few i moved ago? in yeah in january like mid january so okay so it's pretty recent yeah it's like i think you announced that you're going to here and i was like i'll be here but perfect <laughs> yeah so we just met up for food and lunch and julie's behind the camera smiling at us <laughs> and no I, it's just it's really great to meet you because you. i don't know we chat quite a bit online on instagram yeah. anyway yeah. so yeah but I'm just... I'm always in the comment section uh, talking shit about shit. I always <laughs> think that my uh, comments are like super long and not always like 100% related, but Shell is always <laughs> kind enough to like talk with me. And we have been talking for a very long time. You're like very, very active in your comments. Oh yeah. And she's absolutely the same on uh, in real life as on a camera unprovoked so you know. i did ask her at lunch if she thought it was the same yeah, but like it's just provoked. like yeah it really feels like there's no screen but it's the same person for me yeah. at least yeah because i'm always concerned about people thinking that you're different than who you represent online because it, i don't know i don't like the whole idea of showboating so you know if you're not the same person what's the point so. yeah anyway i want to introduce her because we're meeting and she's a lovely person oh, and i'm just you. happy to finally meet you so all right, bye. bye. <laughs> okay, just did a little bit of shopping at H&M, uh, <laughs> as I always do. And now we're just heading home for a little bit of a nap, probably, because we're a bit tired. We've only been getting about five hours of sleep lately. And we're just strolling through Hyde Park because we haven't been here yet.
Okay, I don't know what day it is. In. I think it's Saturday. What? No, I meant like day one, day two, day three. Two and a half. Sure. So we just saw Phantom of the Opera, which I had never seen before. Was very excited to see. Childhood fantasy to see it. This one's seen it six times now? It's now six. Yeah. Now six. So. New York and Toronto. Yeah. Oh, uh, New York, Toronto, and London. Now London. Yeah, I've seen all the big ones now. That's pretty, actually, that's kind of cool. So it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> so we met up with my friend from World of Warcraft, who I'm running the race with tomorrow, the half marathon race. So maybe I'll get him to chat a little bit more. That is wow. Maybe he'll chat a little bit more on camera tomorrow, but we met his fiance. They're lovely people. They're I love wonderful. hanging out with them. Yeah. Keep that in. <laughs> <laughs> we love you so we much. Love you guys. So much. But we're going to bed. I have to get up for my race at seven tomorrow. I will actually get a full night's sleep tonight, and so will you. Yeah. Imagine that. And then I'm going to the mall. Yeah. And Shoreditch. So you run. envious. All right. All right then. We're done. Ciao for now. We meet.